In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple, tileable, early game sugarcane or bamboo farm. Let's get into it. Here I have a scaled up version of the farm. It's quite large and can be scaled to any size, but if you get to the point where you need this much, then you probably should use a different design. But this design is very good for the early game as it doesn't require a lot of resources. So here's how it works. When sugarcane and bamboo grow so much that they are tall enough to reach the observer, the observer triggers the dispenser beneath it, which harvests it. After being harvested, the bamboo is then collected by the hopper minecart. Let's begin, shall we? You are going to need slabs, powered rails, chests, redstone dust, glass and mud, which these can be switched out with normal average blocks if you don't have any, minecart with hopper, hopper, a lever or redstone block to power the powered rails, an observer, piston, building block of your choice, and depending on which plant you want to use this farm for, if you're using bamboo, just have some bamboo. If you're using sugarcane, you're going to need the sugarcane, leaves, or mangrove roots, and a water bucket. The first thing we're going to want to do is punch a hole in the ground. Now, staring at the block in front of you, not the bottom block, you are going to place a hopper. This is very important, making sure that the nose of the hopper is facing into the chest and not into the ground. Next thing we're going to do is place the chest that the items are going to go into. We're going to place a line of powered rails for however many modules of the farm we want. So I'm going to use five and in the middle of it, but not next to the hopper, place a lever and turn it on. Next, you're going to want to place blocks around the rails so nothing gets caught underneath. Once you get to the part where you're going to need to cover the chest, place two slabs so you can still open the chest but nothing can get in. Take your mud and place it on top of the powered rails. After that, you're going to continue the blocks around the outside up until the point where they get three blocks tall. Now, for me, I like glass on the front, so I can see if the farm is working or not. Now we're going to want to build up the farm from here. So we've got the mud. We bring our building block to meet it. We have a wall of glass up in the front. All of it is three blocks high, but in the back, it is only one block high. Now, why is that? That is where our redstone is going to go. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to place our pistons in here so they are facing us and on top of the pistons we are wanting to turn around and place them so that they are also facing on the inside. Place a row of blocks on the back of the pistons and on top of those blocks put redstone dust coming out of all the observers. All right, now that we've got our redstone done, we're going to want to come down to where our chest is and place our minecart with hopper. And it should start moving around and collecting any materials you throw in at it. Now our farm is done and we should be able to just plant our stuff if you're using bamboo. But if you're using sugarcane, you may notice that you can't really plant anything. Here's how to set it up for sugarcane. Punch out this row of blocks that is underneath the glass and right next to the mud, and you are going to place your leaves or roots. Now, after your leaves or roots are placed, you're going to want to fill them with water. This will make it so that the sugar cane will be hydrated but you won't have to deal with water spilling out all over the place. Now we can go in and place your sugarcane. And just like that, our farm is done. We should soon start seeing 
our crops being harvested, and us getting free sugar and bamboo without having to do anything. If you like this tutorial, click this video on screen now, where I'll show you how to make a simple, easy redstone fireplace.